where we had a um, W and we translated that W. Now we're going to do a couple things with a table again, but now it's not the shape of a W. Kind of goes decrease, increase, and then goes off to constant. So we're going to again pick some order pairs, some points. So let's pick this nice one here, over zero, up two, over two, up four, over four, up four, pick this one, negative one, zero, and negative two, four. So I'm kind of picking a variety of points just to get that shape. So again, zero, two, two, four, 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 negative one, zero, negative two, four. All right. Now here is our transformation. We're going to translate it two units down. So we're taking those values on the y-axis and moving everything down two units. So we're subtracting those y values by two. They're moving them down. So how we write this is x comma y. How you change this is we're keeping the x values and we're going to subtract all the y values by two. So y minus 2. So this would be minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. And what's our result? 2 minus 2 is 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. All right. Do we change the x values? No. So all of these values in this column still stay the same. Let's color, put those in red. So 0, 2, 4, negative 1, negative 2. And what we should get when we're done, we're just going to save some time. Here was our original in the blue, and then if we were to graph those ordered pairs, there would be the new one. Save ourselves a little time. All right, let's do one more example, and then we'll be done with this lesson. We have that same graph again that we saw on the previous slide. Just pick those same points, 0, 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 4. Cool. Those in our table. 0, 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 4. And here is our transformation. We want you to reflect it about the y-axis. So if you remember the y-axis, if you're reflecting it, what number do you change? I would say think opposite. So you're changing the x values by the opposite sign. So every x value changes signs. So this is gonna, everything's going to become the opposite. So opposite of 0 is still 0. Opposite of positive 2, negative 2. Opposite of positive 4, negative 4. Opposite of negative 1, positive one. Opposite of negative two, positive two. Do we do anything with these values? Nope, nothing changes. So those just still become two, 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 zero, and four. And here's what the graph looks like when it's done. In the green.